In these problems, we're being asked to write fractions as decimals and decimals as fractions. When you're going from a fraction to a decimal, there's a foolproof way to do it. You just divide, you do the division. What's 5 divided by 10? And you might need to do that on your calculator, but it's going to come out to 0.5 if you do it on your calculator. You might have known this just by looking at it because 5 tenths means you put 5 in the tenths place, which is just to the right of the decimal point. So that's how to write 5 tenths as a decimal. Let's look at the next problem. It says, what fraction equals 0.33? Well, 0.33 is 33 one-hundredths. The last place here is hundredths. There are 33 there before that. So 33 one-hundredths. And then we have to check, can we, uh, can we simplify this fraction a little bit? Looks like 33 only has... Uh, 1, 33, 3, and 11 as factors, and none of those are factors of 100, so I don't think uh, we're going to be able to simplify that, so I think this is our answer. All right, we've got one more. What is 57 one-thousandths as a decimal? Now, you can punch this in on your calculator and you'll get the right answer, but let's think about this for a second. Here's our decimal point. We've got tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So this is 57 over 1,000, or 57 thousandths. So all we have to do is make sure our last number is in that thousandths place, which is the 7, and then the 5 would go right there, and then we'd put a 0 in. So 0 0.057 is the same thing as 57 thousandths. And, you know, if you don't believe me, check it out on your calculator. 57 divided by 1,000, and we get 0 0.057. So that's a little bit about writing fractions as decimals and decimals as fractions.